Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for July. Okay, so we're just going to see what comes up. Now keep in mind, this is for July. What do we have for Taurus for July? What do we have for Taurus? One card came out. Let's see if we can get one more. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you. There we go. I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. So you need to trust your intuition during this time. Fan, romance, celebration, party. So there's some sort of romance here. You're going to be celebrating. You have some sort of psychic ability in which you need to trust. Okay, you need to trust your, your gut, trust your intuition during this time. This probably has to do with love. What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, there we go. Ooh, Messenger. So something could have something to do with Messenger, Facebook Messenger, or you're going to be getting a message. Um, somebody may be relaying a message to you. Something to do with Messenger. What do we have? Could be Facebook Messenger. I don't know what the other platforms are. I don't get involved, but I'm sure that you do. So what do we what do we have for Taurus? One more card. Caution. <laughs> Yay. Caution tape. Beware. You know, caution. You need to beware. You definitely need to beware during this time. Be careful. Trust your intuition. All right. Let's get one of these. Romance is in the air. Your gut has the answer. You may be cautioning something. Listen to your gut. Okay, the gut's gonna, your gut is going to give you an answer. The messenger could be a message from above. All right, you're probably going to receive a message from somebody else as well. A, a prominent message could be via messenger, could be Facebook messenger, any other kind of, kind of messenger. Or there could be a messenger that gives you a message, that relays a message. What do we have for Taurus? This message is going to um, caution you in some way. King of Blades, King of Swords, could be Aries. I know, why did I say Aries? I don't know, maybe you're dealing with an Aries. But this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, this is uh, some sort of evidence. We have evidence in this card. There could be something on Messenger that reveals something and causes, you know, a decision to be made. There's going to be an examining of the evidence, examining the truth, needing to make a decision. You are definitely going to be needing to make a decision, uh, probably in regards to a commitment, whether you want to be in a commitment. It may have to do with a marriage. I'm not sure. We have the Hierophant here, which represents Taurus. Could also, I, was, I also said Libra, Gemini, Aquarius already, but this has to do with commitment. We have a teacher here. Listen to your gut, listen to your intuition, believe in yourself. You're going to be given some sort of guidance. You're going to be given the guidance that you need. You have the answers within yourself. The, the uh, Harriet, the Harriet, the Harriet, the Hierophant has a direct connection to God. I wonder why I said Harriet. Because I was thinking of Chariot, but I was talking about the Hierophant and I was thinking about the chariot so the chariot could be dealing with a cancer but it could also be an arrival 
moving. Somebody could be moving in your direction. Uh, there could be moving, literally moving. There's some sort of evidence that maybe there's something you something gets found out on messenger that changes that causes movement. It has to do with the commitment. We have a spiritual teacher here that has some sort of guidance for you. Maybe it's yourself. The answers could be within yourself. You need to listen. Listen. Take some time to listen. Really observe. Really pay attention. You may have your, your guard up because you're sensing that something is going on. If that is the case, that is the truth. When you get caution tape, there's probably going to be some something that is revealed. You know, they, they got to secure, secure the premises, right? That's what caution tape is used for. And we have this judge here making a judgment call based on the evidence. You, somebody is making a judgment call based on the evidence that is being presented to them. You can't, you can't hide the evidence. It's here. It's right in front of your face. There's some sort of truth that is about to be revealed. Okay. There is. What do we have for Taurus? So somebody could be going to court and, you know, there's something that is revealed that really surprises you. This is a shock. I feel like there's some sort of authorities involved somehow. We got the Four of Swords and the Page of Wands. May have something to do with a child. Um, may or may not. Um, the Page of Wands is typically good news. It's good news arriving. Um, but the Four of Swords is the death of a situation. Okay. And this is a messenger. You may, you're going to be receiving a message that is, it's actually a positive message, but it ends something. It causes, it's, it's about an ending. Okay. Because the four of swords, it looks like a, that looks like a death. A lot of people say it's just taking a break, but it looks like it's more than that to me. I think we have somebody here that is ill or they're sick or they're on their, I don't know if they're on their deathbed or what. Um, the four of swords is. The death of a person or idea. A need to recuperate, a need to take a break. You may need to recuperate or you're dealing with somebody that is ill or something like that. There is a message that is coming that this is a new direction. The Page of Wands is a new direction. So you're going to be going in a new direction. This could be the end of stagnation as well. The end of break time as well. Somebody may be receiving an offer or an invite with the Page of Wands. This is going in a new direction. It is uh, exciting. It really is. Making a judgment call based on the truth that... that There's something that is about to be revealed that changes your direction. I feel like there is somebody that uh, is is uh, very unhealthy here as well. You could be dealing with somebody that is very unhealthy. You receive some news about this person. Eight of Swords. Six of Swords reversed. High Priestess reversed. Somebody's been hiding something 
and the secret is about to be revealed. You're deal I don't know if it's a child. I don't know if you have a child that has broken the law. The pages are children. Doesn't have to be a child. Some it could be somebody that uh, is just ill. I don't know if we have somebody here even that is mentally ill with the four of wands or four of swords next to the eight of swords and the six of swords. Four is four of swords could be illness. There's somebody here that is that has done something or they're doing something that is very sudden the page of wands is very sudden they may have done something without thinking very impulsive energy they could be getting caught i don't know how you're involved in this um, but i do believe that you are going to be receiving some sort of offer or an invitation to something or they have the eight of swords is is in this card, the, the arms are tied up. Somebody is all tied up. They're they're trapped. They're in a situation. Uh, they need to move on. They're stuck. They're stuck um, with the Six of Swords reverse, refusing to take a new approach, hiding something, not very spiritual, not listening to advice. We have somebody here that is hiding a secret with the High Priestess reversed. The secret is about to be revealed. There is somebody that is very, very intelligent that is, is that is examining the evidence and the evidence is going to, uh, it's clear to see what, the, what it is. It's like you can't hide. You can't hide the truth. It's right here. It's right in front of your face. It is what it is and you're going to have to deal with it. I don't know if there's been some sort of crime that has been committed and somehow, I don't know how you're involved, but... Somebody could end up in jail, they could end up in prison, or worse, because of that Four of Swords. When I see the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Swords, to me, it can absolutely be prison, okay? That can be prison, it can be jail, this is tied up, it's handcuffs, it's behind bars. So I'm not sure if somebody's going to end up behind bars, or the Four of Swords could be, I don't know if it's a, if it's a death, or maybe, maybe it's rehab. Somebody could end up in rehab, I don't know refusing to take another approach another approach with the six of swords reverse that is uh troubled you know very troubled if it when it's reversed we have somebody here that is very troubled they refuse to listen to any advice that they, they they it feels like we have somebody here that is breaking the law they've broken some sort of law and i feel like they've been able to hide it they've been able to hide the truth but the truth is coming out and and, and you know it may be a shock to you but anyhow, I do also, let's go, let's change the subject now. Okay, you're going to be receiving an offer or an invite from somebody that you're, you may be scared of, you know, uh, because there's fear here, held back by fear. You may be in a dead-end situation that has been mentally draining you. Maybe you're tired, you're exhausted, you're fed up. You want to go in a new direction. You've been stuck. You've been uh, staying put in this situation where there's a lot of turbulence. There's a lot of waves. There, it's just... You know, you've been wanting to leave, uh, but you maybe you haven't had any, uh, or you've listened to some poor advice and you've stayed put, or whatever the case is. I feel like you're going to be making a move. There is going to be a move because I saw the chariot, which I said Harriet because I was looking at the Hierophant. Uh, and there's something to do with commitment here. There's also something to do with government and institutions. So I don't know if somebody's going to be institutionalized or they are, or, or you know, I don't know if they've been to prison and they are institutionalized. Uh, you could be dealing with somebody like that too. Anyhow, um, there is something to do with an institution here. We could also have government getting involved, the government or the courts, you know, uh, the legal system. I feel like the legal, there could be news of legalities during this time. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. I feel like they're, they're about to get caught. I do feel like for some of you, if you are single, there is a new suitor here, but there's fear, there's fear, there, there could be fear of commitment, there could be fear of moving, okay? There is definitely a new suitor here with the Page of Wands, somebody that is very well suited for you. This person may have burst into your world uh, out of nowhere, you know, and you're held back by fear. You're protecting yourself, you know, maybe you've been single for a while. 
uh, with that four of swords that's like isolating yourself you're not re ready to move forward you know um, choosing to be single some of you may be choosing to be single even though you have a new suitor here Hel holding yourself back protecting yourself You're really going to be examining something this month. You're going to be examining, needing to use your head, needing to be logical, needing to beware. I think you're going to be communicating with somebody that, uh, or you have an opportunity with somebody that could move you out of a troubled situation, but you're going to have to replace your fear with faith. You talk about that Hierophant that is replacing fear with faith. Knight of Cups, offer of love. So there is somebody here that is looking for love, that wants a relationship, that is very romantic and charming, that is going to be expressing feelings or is, is you know, wanting to be in a relationship. This is, this is love, right? Somebody wants to be in a relationship with you, I believe. But you, you, you may be held back by fear. Maybe you don't trust or you're dealing with some legal issues right now or something like that with that King of Blades. I mean, that looks like it's court or, you know, evidence or something like that. There's something going on here that is causing you to be very, very weary. You're examining, you're, you're evaluating, you're observing, you're in, a, you're in a place where, you know, you may not know what you want. Mm. being very very cautious listen to your gut don't listen to anybody else don't take you listen to your gut okay we got the high priestess here in reverse you listen to your gut don't listen to anybody else okay the answer is within you okay you know what you need to do do not listen to poor advice from people that aren't very spiritual that are socially driven that uh live in fear you could be dealing or you're dealing with somebody that lives in fear you know listen to your gut you 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 have the answers within yourself oh we got the king of swords again on the bottom so some of you are definitely dealing with a gemini libra aquarius i did have gemini on the bottom of this deck a little while ago so there's gemini some of you are dealing with a gemini um but libra aquarius as well a need to be discerning be honest with yourself i do also feel for some of you there is a judge here that is making a decision this is a difficult decision a decision maybe you're the judge maybe you have to make a difficult decision based on the facts based on the truth you know you have to be honest with yourself I definitely feel like you're dealing with somebody that is in some sort of legal trouble. <clears throat> this person, I don't know if they're mentally ill or what. I don't know if it's a child. Doesn't have to be. Or somebody that is very immature. This person does things impulsively. I think that, that <clears throat> let's, just, let's just clarify this high priestess reversed. This is uh, choosing to be single, not, not, or, or needing to listen, needing to listen to yourself and yourself only. Don't listen to others. Follow your gut. You're dealing with somebody that isn't very spiritual, that gives you poor advice. When you have the answers within yourself, whoever is giving you advice is very, very troubled. They may not want you to be in a commitment. They could be jealous. They're trying to keep you scared. You know, this, there's fear here. They're, they're trying to keep you trapped. They're trying to trap you. Somebody may be trying to trap you in some way. Beware, I think you're dealing with somebody that is dishonest.
You may not be being very practical. You may not. You may. This is not very practical. King of King of Pentacles reverse. You could be dealing with somebody that is very very greedy. They're after your money. All they care about is money. All they they don't they're not really interested in a relationship. They're after your money. You could get angry. You could definitely get upset this during this time because I feel like there is some sort of information that is being revealed that is going to uh change your direction it is going to change your direction in some way you're dealing with somebody also that is not very loyal they're unfaithful this is somebody that is unstable they're insecure they're do they're doing something illegal they may be pulling the wool over your eyes if they have been pulling the wool over the over your eyes they, they ain't gonna be able to pull it over very much longer because something is about to be revealed that is clearly the evidence that you need there is some sort of evidence there is that is going to show you something we also have somebody here this is going in another direction that has been held back by fear they are about to make an approach this could be whoever you're dealing with could be you as well we have somebody here that is about to make an approach they've been held back by fear they've there but they've gotten to a point where they are exhausted and fed up and they are about to to uh reveal something to you Woo. the devil the devil is uh temptation lust greed uh Oh, and the King of Wands on the bottom, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Capricorn here. So this is a king that is given to take action. So we have somebody here that is about to take action. They are about to uh, step forward. This person is, is uh, fearless, strong, a leader. We have somebody here that is about to take charge. They are about to uh, make a decision. This is a decision maker. Somebody is about to make a decision. They are about to step forward. They have been in a toxic situation where they have been tied. They've been tied to it. They've been tied down. Somebody has been tied to a situation that where there's been a lot of turbulence, there's been a lot of trouble, there's been a lot of uh, exhaustion. It's over, it's been over for a long time. They were bound because of greed. Somebody is dealing with a very greedy individual, could also be a Pisces. They've been dealing with a very greedy, selfish individual who has been, uh, had hidden agendas. This is somebody that is extremely money hungry. We have an individual that is, is taking action. They are taking action during this time. This King of Wands is given to take action, giving to jump. This is a visionary. This is somebody that um, is in a position of power and they are about to do something very sudden, very impulsive. There is impulsive energy here, but this person, um, has thought about it has definitely thought about it quite a bit going after something more passionate it's like this person gets this vision and has to do it I gotta go do this we have a king of wands here that is about to take action they are driven this person is very very driven they're breaking free from some sort of toxic situation where they have been uh, taken advantage of by a person that had hidden agendas. This could also be a hero, okay? It's like coming to save the day. I don't know where that came from. I feel like we have somebody here that is coming in. This is like a savior of some sort. We have somebody here that is very, very troubled. They are stuck. 
They're not very spiritual. They're very, very controlling. This person uh, is toxic. They are unhealthy. There is some addictions here. We have somebody here that has some sort of addictions. They need attention. They need constant attention. High maintenance. This high maintenance individual um, is toxic. There's greed here. There is some sort of greed. Breaking free, breaking free. Somebody is going to be breaking free. They have been stuck, they have been trapped. Hmm. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is a competition. It is a battle. We have somebody here that needs to get prepared. Get prepared for a battle. Get prepared to uh, deal with something because this is like a need to protect yourself, a need to defend yourself. There's a need. There's, there is defense here. There's going to be a fight that changes everything. Somebody is about to get in a fight. There's some sort of competition here. I think that you're going to need to stand your ground. You are. You are definitely going to stand your ground. You need to stand your ground. You need to protect yourself. I feel like you need to get prepared for some sort of incident. There could also, you know, I don't know where this is coming from, but whenever sometimes when I see the Seven of Wands, I think of reporters. I'm not sure if there's some sort of legal thing that is going down and there's, you know, where if somebody goes, gets themselves in trouble and people get questioned. You know, if it's not reporters or there's a lot of questioning going on, there could be. You could be asked a lot, or you may be asking a lot of questions. There's going to, this is like a, a lot of questions are going to be asked. You may be, somebody may make it, be making an approach towards you, you know, and there's a lot of questions. I do believe that there's you could be dealing with somebody that is getting in a fight with an individual that has been holding them back. This person is very greedy. The one that was holding them back is very greedy, very toxic, very selfish, very self-centered, high maintenance, very troubled, you know, has been causing trouble. There's trouble here. Get prepared for some trouble this month. You're going to, I feel like you're going to be getting an offer or an invite from somebody or some news from somebody, you know, that starts some trouble. Okay, I hate to say that. I really do. I think that you're going to be part, somebody is parting ways, maybe from a third party, you know, three of cups reversed and, and or you're parting ways from a third party and, you know, there's a chance to start over. Um, or somebody wants to start something from you and you have to make an informed decision. You're going to really need to trust your intuition. There is romance in the air. You're going to be receiving an offer from somebody that uh, is very, very passionate. This person is passionate. They are very driven. They are very enthusiastic. They uh, don't want to waste any time. This person is very, very attracted to you in some way. It could, If you're single, it could change your, your singlehood with the High Priestess reversed. If you are in a relationship right now, you may receive some sort of information. I don't know if you see it on Messenger or whatnot that changes everything, okay? I do believe that there is a change that you definitely do not expect, okay? Um, yeah. You may need to open up, let your guard down, let somebody in. You're going to be receiving an offer. Let them in. Let them in. You, you're, some of you are protecting yourself. You've been taking a break. You're choosing to be single because you're too scared. Good luck.